WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in Clearwater, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time, three hours until that closing bell for the week. Let's check in on the markets. All major indices higher. Dow Jones Industrial Average positive by 78 points or more than three tenths of a percent, trading at 24.290. NASDAQ positive by almost 40 points or almost six tenths of a percent, trading at 68.51. And S&P's positive by 12 points or almost half a percent, trading at 26. 49. We'll start things off. There's our S&P. Those S&P futures. Higher we go, approaching the intraday highs. S&P futures currently trading at 26.54. We'll check in on the VIX as this market creeps higher. VIX creeping lower. We had a spike on the jobs number this morning, spiking down to 943 on that VIX, approaching that level. VIX currently at 964, single-digit territory. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check in on some of those futures markets. We'll start things off with the S&P 500, currently trading at 2649. About 1230 this afternoon, Eastern time, about 30 minutes ago, we had the highs of the day. We're near those levels, pulling back a bit on the S&P. NASDAQ 100, somewhat of a similar pattern. We didn't have that high at around 12.30. The high was at around 9.30 on the open, pulling back a bit. NASDAQ 100 still up for the day, though, 63.56 currently. Dow 30, currently trading at 24,290. Crude oil bouncing around a bit this afternoon, currently trading at 57.20, excuse me, 57.27, looking at the January contract in crude oil. And gold, gold having some volatility in the morning session when we have the non-farm payrolls. We'll get into those in a second. But we saw some volatility to the upside at around 8.30. Gold spiking to 12.54 pretty much before pulling back, kind of settling in this 12.49 range, 12.49.28 on the gold February 2018 contract. So news this morning of those non-farm non payrolls coming in at 228,000. Estimate was 200,000. Unemployment rate holding steady at 4.1%. But again, it continues to be the wage growth that disappoints with an average hourly earnings up just 2.5% annualized compared with an estimate of 2.7%. So we keep getting the jobs and we're supposed to get some wage growth if you have all those jobs, but it's just not happening yet. Stay tuned. We got our man Steve Rhodes coming up right now with the Trader's Edge. Then, of course, we have our man David White with the Power Trading Hour at 2 o'clock. And Tom O'Brien wraps up the week live at 3 o'clock. Have a great afternoon. Have a great weekend, everybody.